If a stranger came up and started speaking to you on the street, you'd probably want to know more about them and what they were saying before you took them seriously. The same goes for websites. There's a lot of useful information on the internet, but since anyone with web access can publish to it, it's crucial to evaluate those sources when considering their information. In this tutorial, you'll learn about the importance of evaluating information on the internet, you learn about some questions to consider when you're looking at websites, and you'll get some practical tips about how to evaluate internet sites. Many of us use the internet to gather information for all sorts of things. We might use that information to make medical decisions, political decisions, financial decisions, or social decisions. Our whole way of viewing the world is based on the information that we encounter, and these days a lot of that information comes from the internet. That's why it's so important to evaluate the information that you find. Of course, knowing how to evaluate information is also good for your assignments. It will make your research better, strengthen your arguments, and get you a better grade. When you're looking at a website, first ask yourself, who wrote this information? What can you gather about the author's background? Is the author an expert on this topic? Is he or she very opinionated on this topic? How does that inform what the author has written? You might have to do a little bit of digging to find out about your page's author. If you don't see the author's name immediately, look for links such as info, about, or other terms that might lead you to more information about the page's author. Once you have the author's name, try googling it to get some more information about other things that author might have written, or things that other people might have said about him or her. When you know a little bit more about the author, think about how what you've learned impacts what he or she has written. This can help you to decide whether or not to use this website as a source to use to make decisions or base your research on. If you do decide to use the site, knowing about the author will help you to analyze the information that you found and use it more effectively. Next, consider the type of site that this information is coming from. Is the page supported by a group, organization, or company? What does the group stand to gain by convincing others of its points? This could be monetary, political, or something else. Is the information likely to have been reviewed by others before being published? Or is this information from a personal site where someone is expressing their own opinion? Again, you might have to explore the site a little bit to figure out who supports the points that are being expressed, or to discover any potential biases that these groups might hold. Educational or government sites are more likely to provide more objective information. Commercial sites are usually motivated to make money in some way. Organization sites can be a bit more difficult to figure out. Some organizations may provide reliable, unbiased information, but others may have a strong agenda. It is important to look for clues about the purpose of the organization and what facts or resources they use to support the information they are sharing. Shortening the URL to find the home page of the site that you're viewing might also give you information about any groups or organizations that this information is aligned with. When you know more about potential motivations or biases associated with the site, think about how these might affect the information that you're viewing. Next, ask yourself what sort of evidence the author provides for the points that he or she is trying to make. Does the site list citations for or link out to other websites, data, or print resources? Do links provided actually work? Can you verify evidence used in the site? Does the site rely on evidence from many different sources or just a couple? The more verifiable evidence that a site uses, the more likely that the information that site is trying to convey is accurate. Finally, consider when this information was published or last updated. People view different topics differently and talk about them in different ways at different times. Make sure that the site you're viewing is either up to date or published at a time that is relevant to the topic that you're studying. Here are some tips about how to find information that will allow you to evaluate websites. We've mentioned a few already. Scan the perimeter of the page and look for links such as About, Info, the author's name, and the publication date. Shortening the URL to find the website's homepage might help you get more information about sponsors of the site or organizations that are aligned with it. After getting information from the website itself, try doing an outside search for any author's names or organization titles to see what other people have said about these entities. Finally, remember to think of the big picture. 
How do all of the clues that you've discovered impact the information that you're trying to decide to use as a source for your paper or for decisions that you make in your life? When you're researching on the web, be a skeptic. When you're taking in any information, it is good to think about factors that might impact it. This will help you to make stronger arguments and better decisions. You'd be skeptical about a stranger's word on the street, so why not think about internet sources in the same way?